Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a function, and the goal is to find the derivative f prime. In this function, we have an x term being multiplied by another expression with x terms. So the multiplication of these two leads us to use the product rule in order to find the derivative. I'll split this up as a and b, respectively, and then we will just use our product rule. So jumping right into it, we always start with a prime times b. So a prime is the derivative of a, or the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. And then we have the original b right next to it. So just like that, we are halfway done. Then we want to add a times b prime. a is the original e to the x. Then where we have b prime, we want the derivative of b. So starting with 2x to the fourth, that has a derivative of 8x to the third. And then the minus fifth root of x is equivalent to minus x to the one-fifth, the fifth root corresponding to a one-fifth. Then when we take its derivative, we will keep the minus, we'll bring the one-fifth out in front, leave the x, and then we'll do one-fifth minus one, or top number minus bottom number over bottom number. So we get negative four, and we leave it over the five. And so, whoops, b prime is not a denominator. So these terms paired together plus these terms paired together is what we are looking for. So right off the bat, we can eliminate options A and C because they don't have the correct number of terms. And then, again, we want to see e to the x paired with the original B term. So I think we see that here, maybe here, not here. Um, yeah, this x minus 1 in the exponent, that'll never be the case. So we can go ahead and eliminate that option as well. So then what's the difference between B and D? They both have the e to the x on the other term. They have the 8x cubed. So then the question is, which one of these matches what we have here? So we have negative 1 fifth, x to the negative 4 fifths. x to the negative 4 fifths is equivalent to throwing x to the positive 4 fifths on the bottom. So they both have x to the positive 4 fifths, but only one of them has the 5 on the bottom, so the 1 fifth. So we break out the eraser to see that b is our answer. Let's go ahead and do one more real quick. Right off the bat, again, we know we're using product. We're, we know we're using product rules, so we can eliminate options that look like b and c. Now, we want a, so we'll call this a, we'll call this b to find f prime first, and b. So b is, and a prime is the derivative of the seventh root of x, which is equivalent to x to the one seventh, which when we take its derivative will give us one seventh x to the one minus seven is negative six, and we leave it over seven. So negative six sevenths. And then we add <clears throat> a times b prime. So a is the original seventh root of x, and b prime is the derivative of b. So 20x to the fourth plus 4x. All right, let's start with finding these terms. Keep in mind, we just need to see these two terms multiplied together somewhere. They could be on the first half, or they could be in the second half of one of these answers. So because it's split up by addition, it'll be okay if you know we find these two terms elsewhere. So for example, actually not for example, that's a little bit of a different answer there. So um, I was looking at this up here, they have a 24 instead of a 20. So a slight difference, but yeah, that, I mean, that just can't be it. So we're going to eliminate that right off the bat, which means that's gone too. All right. And I think they did, they did the same thing here, right? 24 X to the sixth. It's got me uh, second guessing my work here, but no, I think the 20 is really all we needed to tell us that E 
is our answer. And so if that didn't make sense, basically what I was looking at is this versus this. And so we had 20x to the fourth, and they kept having 24x to the sixth. It's like they were adding a power or something. I don't know. It's it just not the right method. And so just to confirm all of our other terms, we have these two together here. And hopefully that makes sense why that matches these. And then up here. We have a 1 7th, 1 7th. x to the negative 6 7ths is the same as x to the positive 6 7ths in the denominator. And then we have the original b next to it. All right. Hope this makes some sense. Again, these product rule problems can be very tricky, especially to be learning the product rule with. Um, so if they're giving you trouble, um, you know, keep in mind the tips we can use to eliminate. Uh, answers as best as possible based on fact of like you know what we know about certain derivatives and things like that so elimination will be your best friend with these problems if you have any questions though please let me know